So I'm joined this evening again with Father Francis from Uganda. And as many people know, over the last number of years, the last two years, we've been trying to help with Father Francis, who has returned to Uganda and who has founded the, the Caesar Smile Foundation, uh, is, uh, trying to help communities, uh, education, um, um, water and so forth and the and the faith and father if you just want to give us an update on on the latest uh campaign that we did for the start of the year how has it gone what are the challenges you faced and uh just to inform people that have in this channel that have been helping you thank you so much robert and thank you for this opportunity greetings to everyone and hope you have had a nice sunday uh i wish to send a vote of thanks to you for promoting the work for the foundation. In this foundation, so far we have supported 170 children. And in this, this the children that we have supported, we have three seminarians currently. So of recent, we had one who had opted to take a dead year because he did not have the finances and the mother could not afford to pay the bills for the minor seminary. Mm -hmm. So we decided to take him up and we we have catered for the fees for this time and the, the, the fees that he had failed to pay the previous year. Yes. Last, last uh, two weeks ago, US, UC results were released here and uh, we got a boy who comes from deep in the village, but he had gotten nine in eight. So he had gotten one, 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 and one, one subject too, but that did not have any, any assistance. So we have also decided to take up Lawrence. You will excuse me that I will not mention the name, both names of these people for purposes of privacy and security. Yeah. So we have also decided to take up Lawrence and uh, uh, Deacon Paul sent me some money on on Friday and we cleared his dues. I wish to send a vote of thanks to these people who have contributed. Uh, I'm sorry if I mentioned the names, maybe my the pronunciation and might not be good, but you will excuse me. So we have John Field and Aether Field. They have contributed towards this, and uh, we have Frank Sidmall, we have Nathan Mulfield, Peter Dinkora, Foreign Woods, and then there is somebody who contributed, but I don't know whether this is his name, but I'm seeing Pimp My Dog. <laughs> okay. Pimp My Dog has, <laughs> Pimp my dog has, has sponsored so so many children over one, two, three, four, five, so over six children. Yeah. Sarah MC Daniela, Nils, Mary Franklin Designs, Nasty Perez, Arthur MC Andor, Grace Greenlaw, James Bland, Marian Blanc, Damian Biran, Paul Oxble, Nicola MC Clean, Jonathan Gooden, Jason Breed, Gianni Babino. David Walford, Patrick Irish, Erin Maureen. Yes. We have Patrick Ali, Robert Ran. Then we have, I don't know the name of the, 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 the clear pronunciation of this is a priest, mm -hmm. Wilhelm, Wilhelm yes. Tolbian. Yes. Then we have Brian Scott. Then we have Miriam Brock, Kenneth Downer. Then Miriam Brock. Then there is somebody who contributed anonymous, anonymous with. One hundred dollars, Kenneth, Kevin, Arthur, Ashling, Patrick, and you realize that there are some people who have contributed almost, you know, weekly basis or after a fortnight, for yeah. for the last month that we have done this campaign. Yes, yes, yes. Now, most of these people had, had sponsored children for for a full year. Mm -hmm. But for Papa, for pastoral reasons and for purposes, of, so that we have a bigger number, we have not done that because there, there, are, there are so many people, there are so many children that are coming up, and most of these children are really needy. 
Yes. I am I am I'm I'm this 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 foundation has helped me to realize that to look at life in another in another way. Because most of these children are orphans, and majority of these children are children taken up, taken care of by their mothers. And uh, I have also gotten the opportunity to visit a few homes, but when you reach there, you see that these people really need the help. So from these funds that we have gotten, we have we have gotten over nine thousand euro. Mm -hmm. And from this 9,000 euro, we bought 1,500 and we bought scholastic materials. So the scholastic materials, we bought pens, pencils, mathematical sets, we bought books. We have books of bigger choirs and books of small choirs for children in primary school and those in higher school. Then we bought sanitary pads for girls, school going girls, girls of above 12 years. And then recently, we also bought school bags. But it, there was a disaster in the distribution because we thought we'd buy 100 bags, but later on, we, we, we saw that the, the need was a, a little bit higher. Yes. So hoping that maybe if we get some funding sometime, we can buy more bags for for next term. Uh, once again, I wish to say thank you to our sponsors and we call upon you please to kindly support us because our foundation is registered under the law and now we have a, a bank account. Yes. My, my, uh, my wish is that maybe from next term, we shall be depositing this money on the account. And if we are to make any payments, we make the payments through the bank because that will help us to make proper accountability and follow up of the funds because we have to show transparency and that's the value for money that people who sacrifice their money, their penny for these children that they surely see and know where their money goes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And to be clear, so the listeners are listening to this video, all of this work, the foundation is approved by Father Francis, your bishop. And there is no administration fee. Like I'm not, I'm not taking anything out of this uh, in the sense that we're just, this is a work of love. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a it simple... Is, it is surely work, it is sure a work of love. Yeah. And uh, we are assisting the community. Yeah. I believe that in a way, this is a practical way of, of evangelization. Yes. Because when we help communities, when we build up communities and we educate people, tomorrow we can have good leaders for the church and for the world. Yeah. And then the other thing is, we are not basically centering on children who are Catholics only. We are, base, we are basing on all children for the yeah. area so that we, we assist them. Yeah. And then I'm also inviting, you know, interested parties. If you if you really want, want to see the work, you can visit and see. And, you know, these people know who are helping them. That will also be a big difference to them. Yeah. Yes. I also wish to thank our, our treasurer, <laughs> Deacon Paul. He's doing a lot of work. And, uh, and you, Robert. Uh, I don't spend any money without the approval of these two people. Yeah. So we first make a discussion and see we need this. How do you see if we can spend money here? I think that also helps for purposes of accountability and following up the finances. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and just just so people are aware on this, with the work that we're doing in this area, when mm -hmm. we dug a well. We also got an Irish charity, Wells of Life, Aidan Jordan, and they went and did the scouting and they checked the area and then they 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 dug the well and were able to give us some independent advice about the need of this community. So we've 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 done our due diligence and in inspecting the need and there is a need there. So we cannot change everything, but we can work with the communities that we know. You came to Ireland. You helped. You you helped us, and it's important that we we keep this um 
partnership going so that we can just do small focused acts of charity that you know are needed you know and uh, yeah. and i and i really hope this is my vision father that every parish in ireland will focus on helping a parish or a community in the developing world you know and uh, that would be very good exactly you know knowing the faces of the people because we i don't put everything on the channel but father francis he sends us these uh, all the pictures and the videos uh of the community and maybe i'll do something bigger but i'm hoping to visit so that actually to kind of bring people uh, drive drive awareness of the sim simple needs that, that people have like teenage girls at school they need sanitary pads these are simple things that we don't often yeah. think about in ireland a school bag father francis said we need a school bag and i suppose we didn't even think about okay we're getting the books and we completely forgot well they need a school bag if it's raining uh, you know a, a, small... a school bag a school bag here doesn't cost compared to to the standards in in the western world we have five even, euros. even school even yeah. school so the yeah. squish bag we bought a bag of five euro yeah because there would be bags of maybe 20 euro but but then sometimes i'm very considered about the, the funds so that we every at least every child can can get a share exactly. something is better than nothing exactly. so maybe if for uh so this, this is the book for i don't know whether people will see so this is the book for for I the borehole yeah we have uh -huh. it here. Yes. Yeah. So that's the, yeah, the so copy this... for the book all from from Wales of Life. And that yeah. is that is the that is the community and those are and the world is, the, is doing well. Yeah. So we are we are people are getting clean water. Yeah. Yeah, so it, it was it was it was great for me to actually get the help of Aidan Jordan of Wells of Life, who physically went there, and that and we're able to now see the needs, uh, you know, uh, uh, the reality that they needed water, you know, in that yes, the reality of life, yes, the reality of life, water, electricity, uh, housing would be a little bit complicated because. There are so many homes where people are still living in mud houses. Yes. But so just mix soils with water and then they patch it up so that they have a shelter where they can sleep. So that, that is life. Yes. Uh, uh, I think, and maybe unless you have, have something else. We... Yeah. I think we, what we need to do is learn from what, what Irish... Um, I, the Irish missionaries did, Irish religious did uh, 100 or 150 years ago. I mean, there's a local nun here. I was just reading her book, Sister Agnes or Sister Arsenius. She she founded a woolen mill, an industry in, in a town 10 minutes from my house in Foxford. And so we have to we have to gradually bring up people's standards of living, you know, providing services, mm -hmm. providing infrastructure. We can't do it in one day but we cannot yes. you know we have to be mm -hmm. uh, learn from our own history and trying to incrementally bring up and 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 widen out the net and and i really do think in the catholic world you know this missionary this missionary zeal to help another human being must be the number one thing we do as catholics oh yes you know oh, yes and I, I had forgotten one thing. We currently have some children who who need help, but currently I'm short of funds. So in yeah. case I would have, I'll make a request to make an appeal in case there are some people who are interested in taking up these children. We have like five children now that will need a, a few a few euros to to okay. finish this term. Yeah. Yes. So this term will end at the start of May. And then at the beginning, towards the end of May, because the holidays here are two weeks to three weeks. So towards the end of May, we shall begin second term to August. And then end of August, we begin second term to beginning of December. Okay. So now we, we, we have a deficit for second term and third term. And uh, I request uh, our sponsors that please kindly 
Yeah. We, <laughs> I know. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. And then it's... maybe in case there's somebody who knows anyone who is interested in, in assisting us, not necessarily the foundation, even if it is a parish, because even where the parish where I'm working, we are constructing a church. Yes. So in case there's somebody who is interested in assisting. Did you break up there, Father? Yeah. Yes, I broke up. So yeah. any assistance is, is highly welcome. Yeah. And to anybody that's or, members on my channel, you know, the money that you're giving is a membership. I've been sending it to Father Francis in the hope that we will build a chapel, an adoration chapel or a, a chapel for so out there. So, you know, we will we, we continue to work on this, but um um but this is kind of what we're trying to do is just to give the support and the umbrella and as i said we're we are we did start off with 170 kids in school and we're we we're hoping that we'll be able to educate those 170 throughout the whole of year so i know somebody said we'll fund this child but the money that we had available we just said let's get all of the kids into school because we couldn't just leave 40 kids in school and then the other 130 said no sorry you couldn't go to school it, it would have been cruel in that community to to divide yes, that so wouldn't we, that would that wouldn't be christian no no so we'd be a christian so we've put all the kids uh, irrespective of who's coming put them all into school mm -hmm. it's the basic thing we we can do and then mm -hmm. so let's let's work on this but uh you know i'm so pleased to see everything that you've done father and i and i know it's not easy especially given that you had expectations the promise of a car to help you travel and suddenly um the pro uh, the the people that were going to help you we're not able to help you and we pray we pray for them um but uh let's hope that we get the transport situation sorted at some stage and um but i suppose we couldn't buy the car and then leave the kids out of school this is the sad reality no, no, no. we we, oh. we were faced between the financial challenges we had to put the children first and the the community first and and you actually bought food for the community at christmas as well which was uh you know something that was needed oh. you know? um so uh we yes. we do we we need to keep these the we need to keep our priorities but hopefully as the foundation grows as the money grows we'll be able to meet as much of the needs as as, as possible and uh, and raise up leaders this is really important what you're doing forming oh, yes. those three seminarians is forming future leadership which is important if we do not form these leaders especially those that are talented that have good grades you know the the, the yes. we we'll be failing a next generation and it's really really important and another thing, uh, what we're hoping to do is I'm hoping to go out and visit Father Francis uh, for a few days and just to, to kind of bring awareness to this. And I would ask any Irish listeners, if you're if you are able to help a community in Africa, partner your parish, partner your parish with another parish, partner your parish with a priest or two priests, uh, you know, so that, you know, one Sunday collection in the parish in Ireland might last a whole year for a community there. I mean, yeah, it can help a community here. So yeah. it does, does, does a lot for, for our communities yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. My, like my wife won um, the war. Yeah. No, no, no. Go on, please. You no, know, my wife, when the war broke out in Ukraine, you know, she sent three containers of 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 aid over to Ukraine at the time. So there were there is a there is a great spirit of solidarity with different communities. Yeah, that would also be very practical. But the modalities of of taxes here would be taxations yeah. would be very high. So sometimes to to send a few of these things becomes very expensive but if we send maybe a few a few euros a few dollars and you purchase the things there yes like we did for, for what we have so far done yeah. so maybe as you present this video i also request that you 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 show some bit of proofs of payments that i've been sending to you because <laughs> that will also be that is that is very important yeah, that's very important 
<laughs> yes, no. of accountability yes exactly yes exactly no we are and so uh you know uh, we have been trying to and again this is just a labor of love uh we're not uh in ireland there's no administration as such we're just getting funds and sending them and sending them them to you so there isn't any any it's really a it's really a a, a, a labor of love and but i hope I, I really do hope that people listening to this video is, you know, the number one mission of the church. If we if we have a personal relationship with Christ, we have to share it. You know, mm -hmm. what we did to the least of these, we we did to Christ. You know, did it to me. Yes. yes. You know, and uh, a child that doesn't have education or doesn't have enough to eat or it doesn't have a place to sleep or doesn't right. have proper clothing. Christ is present in that 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 oh, human yes. being, uh, you know. So oh, yes. uh, we 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 have to do our our part in in this universal church. Catholic means universal, and uh, you know we can't be abandoning the church that is in need. Uh, at this moment in time so that's why um i'm so enthusiastic yeah. to i'm so glad i met you i'm so glad the irish church brought you over uh, you know uh, you know the uh, lock Derg, because at least we we were able to then make contact and uh and deacon paul right. has been such a help in trying to 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 work with this so it's it's great the work you're doing maybe maybe for you know we are in a season of lent Yes, maybe towards Easter in case there is anyone who is interested, you know, we can we can assist the community by giving them something for 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 Easter. Yeah, you know, here here on the big feasts or solemnities like these ones, decent food is not an assurance. Not every community can afford to buy, you know, a kilogram of of meat or rice or what. Most most families actually have one one meal a day. Okay. And now the, there have been so many changes in the seasons. So sometimes people grow maize to make maize flour, and 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 the yields are not very good. So mm -hmm. eventually they end up they have to minimize the food that they have, or they don't have any food or any. So sometimes they have to. To negotiate between the meals, either to have one meal a day or to have two meals a day. So something for people at Easter makes a big of difference in their lives and brings some bit of smile. Mm -hmm. And then I also encourage, in case there is anyone who is interested in assisting people, communities, for example, assisting them how to, to do agriculture better, how to save, I guess there's anyone who is interested in, in assisting ladies because now there is a trend that we have more single mothers here and these mothers that are the beast of burdens in these families, they're taking care of these children, you know, assisting them coming up with something so that they can take care of their families. I would think that would also be a very great relief to, to our communities. Yes. Yeah. And and again, where I where I'd love to see this go is to follow the example of of religious in the past that the built industries, you know, the 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 woolen mill this nun opened still exists. It's still trading. And so we need to start building industry uh, as much as we can. Education um hospitals yes. and so, uh, the church mm -hmm. so that we, we we build up and and uh we can we can't change everything but we can change the person but we can do a difference yeah yes we yes. can make a small difference and maybe one last thing is we robert asked me to to make an inquiries for about the costing of every primary school and uh, i inquired from various engineers we got a costing of around 300,000 euro, mm -hmm. between 250,000 and 3,000 euro, 300,000. And if we have our own school where we can educate our children, that will be a very great relief to the community. It will help the children get education, but it also create employment for the community see that we shall have people who, who teach or we shall have also casual workers the cooks 
people who work at the compound so that these people earn something that will help them have a decent life back in their homes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, what about the kids going to school? Are they getting food as well? Though, or, or, or is there an issue there with that? Yes, food is also an issue. Uh, because now most of these children, we are we are not paying them in in what we call very good schools, but we are paying them in in the medium schools. So there's a very big difference. So what do these schools provide? They don't provide solid food. Mm -hmm. They provide a cup of of flour, mm -hmm. a cup of porridge. You know what we call porridge? Yeah. So a cup of porridge that it is, it is this is what they give to these children at lunch time. And you'll find that most of these children come from homes where they don't have breakfast. Mm -hmm. So they stop eating the previous night the supper or what or dinner. And then as they come to school, they come to school empty with empty stomachs. So they study up to one. So at one, that is when they get a cup of porridge. That is for those who are paid. Now, like for these children that we are paid for, so those ones will be assured of a cup of porridge at school. And this cup of porridge will move these children up to evening when they go back home. So that is the that is the yeah. life. Yeah. Mm. I think it's a it's a massive difference between uh Ireland mm. and, and those kids. You know, we we send our kids to school mm -hmm. and you know, they get a kit. There's a kitchen uh -huh. in where my kids went, and you know, they get a wrap and they get a drink, and you know, f uh, easily no, fun. No, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. That doesn't happen here. And some of these children have to walk, mm -hmm. and they walk, they walk barefooted. Yeah, I was thinking if we had funds in the in the foundation, maybe we would buy these children maybe a pair of shoes. Of around five euro or seven euro or at most ten euro, yeah. so that at least we save them from this, from this thing of you know moving barefooted, and eventually some at some the unlucky ones also get some bit of infections because of moving barefooted, especially when it is the rainy season, because the water is flowing and then they step in this dirty water, so they don't know what is in the dirty water, so some of them eventually get some bit of infections in the feet uh, maybe sometimes uh, i don't know how you know do you know what they call jiggers yeah uh, I, so so yeah, so okay. some case some of those cases also happen once in a while yes okay. but anyway we move with with some of these challenges but once again i think i wish to say thank you so much to our sponsors who have sponsored our children. Thank you so much, Robert, for promoting the work for the foundation. Mm, and that. thank you for approaching me because if I recall the day we met at Lockdown, the, the <laughs> approach and the, how I was a bit hesitant. But I know, I think what you told me, you know, because I recall you told me, God has sent me to you. He did. Uh, now he I'm... did. <laughs> he, I, I now... was just... <laughs> Our yeah. Lord said, help that priest. He said to me, yeah. Robert, you go and help that priest. And I said, okay, Lord. <laughs> yeah. so you must have been I'm, 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 I'm now proving that your God sent to me. <laughs> yeah. Because through you, through you, I have I, I have helped the community. Yeah. And I'm sure through you, the community will benefit more. Yeah. I just I yeah. I just see it as the the simple thing that is is what our Lord would do. You know, this is this is you know, if you want to know what is the spirit of our Lord, our Lord would be walking with those kids. Our Lord would be eating with those kids. Our Lord would be pointing us to those kids. You know, I think your your camera is turned yeah. off there. Yeah, but anyway, we, we can hear you there. Um, but anyway, Father, it was just, uh, you know, it's a pleasure to work with you. And, and I think this is just the start of, of, uh, of, of the project. And we'll just, we'll just keep, we'll keep working as, as much as possible to, uh, to, uh, you know, shine a light on what is the number one, 
the number mm, one, the number mission, one. mission yes. of the church. You know, if we're not a mi missionary Catholics, uh, uh, you know, uh, and not everybody can actually visit, but we can help, you know, uh, when we can help mm. one child, we can help one community and uh, we can build one school. We can have another well and we can make the, the lives because, I, you know, it is the it is, if we if we claim to have union with God, the, you know, if we're, if we're personal relationship with Christ, then we cannot close our eyes to where Christ is looking. And Christ was definitely looking at you. And Lock Derg, he was saying, help that priest. <laughs> I said, OK, Lord. <laughs> so you're you're a very lucky man that Christ, that our Lord. Oh, has a... oh yes. <laughs> yes. And uh, I, I, I like I always tell you. Even one euro here in Uganda makes a difference. Because mm. one euro is 4,000 shillings a year. Or three, eight, three, nine, depending on the exchange rates. But one euro here, because there are so many families, or even in the parishes, where you can't even get one euro a week. So one euro makes a, a difference. Five euro makes a difference, you know. Five euro can buy somebody a t-shirt. Like mm -hmm. I was telling you in Spain, to go to a shop like Prima Kitchen, you can't get a decent a decent t-shirt of five euro. No, no. But five euro here does does a lot. A pair of shoe here is like ten euro. You can get a good pair of shoe for a child, which is different that side. Mm -hmm. So. Any small contribution towards this foundation, dear viewers, for of this channel, makes yeah. a very big difference. And I know with it, God will eventually appreciate the work that we are doing. Yeah, and I'm looking forward that maybe if God blesses us with life, that in the next ten years or in the next seven years, maybe we can have doctors that we have we have assisted, priests that we have assisted, and actually, I wish to inform the viewers here that. Among the seminarians that we have been sub that have been supporting privately, one is graduating in May, so he's, he's, he's getting his bachelor's degree, and he will go for his pastoral spiritual year and then later on to the theology room. So maybe God willing, in the next four to five years, will be becoming a priest. Yes. We pray for him and we pray for these others that we have we have taken up in the foundation. That's great. It's it's really beautiful, and again, I'm. It's 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 a pleasure to work with you, Father, and uh, we'll keep we'll keep this work going, and uh, we'll see what the what our Lord has has planned for all of this. Uh, I'm sure uh, in in the in the months and years to come. Thank you so much. No problem. God bless you. Mm, Would you like God to finish you. finish with a prayer and a, for 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 everyone? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We thank you for the gift of this season of Lent that you have given to us. A time to pray more, to fast, and to get from the little that we have and give to our brothers and sisters in need. Like today in the first reading, you showed us how Abraham was tested by God by giving, by telling him to sacrifice his only son. But then later on, God changes his mind and did not sacrifice the son. And like in the gospel, where Jesus transfigured and people desired that they stay there with him. Lord, we pray that you change our lives and that we are always comfortable being there with you in your presence. We pray and we pray for the, for the sponsors who have contributed towards the good of these children. May God bless their generosity. May God bless their work. May God bless all their plans. And we pray that God keeps us safe and he keeps us in love as brothers and sisters, irrespective of our different localities. And may mighty God bless us all in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless. God bless. God bless. Mm.